I've been involved with Special Olympics for a number of years, uh, probably when I was in my early teens, in fact, uh, volunteering here and there. And then I fell in love with the family, the Special Olympics family, and got more and more involved. And now I serve on the international board. Well, earlier today, I was watching rhythmic gymnastics. And to see this young, young uh, gymnast uh, from Uzbekistan, here she was performing her heart out to music. And when she finished, she went like this and like gave the biggest hug to her coach and it just was her victory you know i know that she worked so hard to get here and so much dedication so much inner strength and to be here in los angeles to represent her country and and do so amazingly well it, it's, it's a moment that you know all athletes i think everybody can can feel uh there's everything i love special olympics i i love the opening ceremonies uh that took place uh, a couple days ago uh, with the fireworks, seeing all the athletes march in with their fellow teammates. Um, Special Olympics gives an opportunity for our athletes, people with intellectual disabilities, to make friends, to participate in sports and, and have that opportunity and feel accepted and included in society. And um, that's why this whole, the whole game, the whole week that is incredible where fans come out to cheer them on and the whole movement is just spectacular. Special Olympic athletes uh, teach me so much uh, about courage, about hope, about having fun. I mean, I see our athletes training and I see the, the fierce competition, but also celebrating each other. And there's so much respect with all our athletes that they might not win, but they say, you know what, participating is, is winning. I think for anybody participating, our athletes participating, just have fun. You're here representing your country, we're excited that you're here and go out there and have a blast.